everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Nick, if you are new here, make sure you are subscribed, turn the notification bell on so you're notified when the next video goes live. Come over and follow me on Instagram, like this video and yeah. So today, I wanted to make a little video for you. Obviously, if you are not new here, you will know that I am currently 21 weeks and five days pregnant with my first baby who was conceived by IVF, which is super exciting. We're very, very excited. Last weekend, we found out we are having a baby boy. Um, it was my birthday last weekend and we did a gender reveal and it was just so perfect. But today I wanted to show you some of the items that I've been buying and picking up along the way, clothes wise, for the baby. He doesn't have a name yet, so he's still pipping at the moment. But yeah, I thought I would show you what I've got, what I've been collecting. A lot of it is gender neutral. Um, I don't really subscribe to blues for boys, pinks for girls or whatever, but yeah, these are very much could well i bought them not knowing so i was happy to use them on either gender for the baby the first thing i want to show you are these gorgeous muslins that i've bought from hallie and harlow i will post all the links to everything in the description box below but these are they're like muslin squares so i've been told that you need loads of them to just like mop up sick to just mop up anything spillages or to just like as a bit of a comforter but <clears throat> i don't know if you can see it's got like gold specks all on it and that's the brand there we go so they came in packs of three um so i got a nice leopard print mustard one a white one with the gold fleck on it actually i have two of those and then i also have these there's one missing I know oh, that's right and then I also have these black and white print ones because I've been told that the black and white like monochrome prints is really good for like brain development and stuff um with regard to like baby sensory but these have just got like animal faces on and this one's just a black with white spots on so I absolutely love those um I also have plain muslins as well that I bought from Tesco I think no, actually, these are I like safari. So I don't know if you can see they've got like a little giraffe and stuff. Um, they're from Sainsbury's, and also from Sainsbury's, I have this tiny like tracksuit jumper and bottoms. Come with a little hat. So cute. And the little button detail, little stripes, and it has got a hat with it as well. Honestly, so sweet. So these are first size, so he has got quite a lot. Everything I've bought is is like newborn, and I just hope he's not over ten pound. Otherwise, I'm not gonna be able to wear them. I'm definitely not gonna be able to wear them. He's not gonna be able to wear them. Um, compared to like the stuff that. You know, I didn't want to get him loads of 0 to 3 in case he was really little, but I really need to start getting more 0 to 3 now. I have some neutral, like these are little trousers. That seemed like a mal, I don't know if you can tell on there, but that's like a marley oatmeal print and then like a white mal print as well. Little leggings and then some vests as well. They came in a pack of three, how tiny. So they're like neutral again. That's the Marley pattern one. And they must have come in a pack of two. And then I've got long sleeve ones. Again, that's plain. But I liked the button being on the side, something different. And a striped grey, little grey one. So sweet. They were all from H&M. They were really good, well priced, I think. So seven, I think they were like three for two. I think that's why I bought like them like that. And they're all in the same color palette. 
as I said, everything's pretty neutral, so... I mean, apart from the next thing I'll show you, um, which is, like, the most colourful thing I've got. <clears throat> but, yeah, I thought these were cute, could go with anything. Like I said, they are first size. So, next up is stuff that I've got from Next. These were from um, when they had their sale on a few months ago, um, and they were a pack of two. Little jammers. So, love me a, a, an animal print. So that's tiger, and then it's also come with a grey tiger print. Well, it's got a little tiny tiger on it. <clears throat> and then just in grey, like a grey with the tiger print edging on it. And they are, they are pop buttons, thankfully. What else is from next? Oh, while we're on while we're on next, my sister's boyfriend actually bought um, Pippin his first bits of blue. So he's got like a little onesie, snowsuit type winter thing, and it is so soft. I don't know if you can tell it's furry on there, um, and it's like fur inside, and ah, oh, it's so small. <laughs> So sweet. So that's like an all-in-one for outside, which is in a light blue. He bought this without knowing that he was a boy, but he, um, it, this kind of colour goes on either, doesn't it? And then this little jacket, again, that's got little tiny ears on it. So soft and sweet. Um, it's already got dog hair on it because it's been here for more than five minutes. So, yeah, those are his first bits of blue slash more boy looking things. <clears throat> My sister had this made for me from Patch Kid Co on Instagram. Um, it's It's got embroidery on it, it says Pippin, but it is so sweet as well. So cute. We've also got a couple of other bits of... Um, personalised stuff so we've got another Pippin one that someone sent me and I've also got a baby Robinson one so that is so sweet going back to next so this again I bought before we knew he was going to be a boy but I think that's so sweet it's like a little short romper with a long sleeve vest underneath and it's got a tiny elephant on it um, but I thought it could be hot. What size was this? <clears throat> this is a newborn size as well. Yeah, it could be hot in April, so April, May, while he's like a month old. Thought that would be quite cute for in the garden and stuff. And then this was one of the first things we bought, um, which if you've seen our pregnancy announcement to our friends, this was the little outfit we used to announce to them which is so cute it's like knitted but I love this colour like minty um, I'm, I'm very into that sort of colour and then I've also got some really tiny socks I mean I mean come on they're so small so small and they've got little drafts on as well so cute Moving on, this is from Tesco. This was a three pack for £9. These are just like, again, little dramas. So these ones have got penguins on. This one is like a dotty one, which I love. And then there's also like a, a black and white stripey one, which I also love as well. I know it's winter now and penguins are in, but penguins can be in in April too. Um, so yeah, I love those. They're really, really soft. Um, and they've got the mittens built in as well. So you just flip the thing over and then they won't scratch themselves or anything. Um, moving on to Marks and Spencers. This zebra top is so sweet. And then some little fluffy bottoms with feet. So they're just like leggings or trousers. I'm gonna say leggings, because they're gonna be tight, aren't they? I imagine. Um, they're really, really soft with feet in them. 
and tiny zebra top which we love um and then also two Pooh Bear outfits, little onesies. These are the, actually the only ones we've got with zips on. Um, and I know a lot of moms and dads rave about the ones with zips. So yeah, we've got this one, it's got Pooh Bear on it. And then the one underneath is also Pooh Bear, but it's got like more characters on it. Might be better to see from the back. Which I thought was so cute. Um, also from M&S we just got some short sleeve bodysuits again they're in like neutral tones so they're going to go with loads and loads of stuff what size is this oh it's 0 to 3 finally I'll have something to wear if you use big <laughs> and we've also got these in 0 to 3 as well these are from Asda um, if you follow me on Instagram you'll have like seen that I posted this a while ago so it was a little uh, how many pieces one two three four pieces um so it's got little elephant bottoms a little elephant onesie and then it's also got a like a bib and a hat as well which i thought was just so sweet absolutely love that and also from asda i got um this little cardigan which is why it also has ears on it. Just all the baby stuff like jumpers and hats and stuff come with ears on. <laughs> so sweet. But again, that's not to three as well. So we'll have some stuff to grow into. Um, he's also got like knitted stuff. Like uh, friends have knitted him like some little items, which is so sweet. Um, that's from like my grandparents, friends. And he's got two knitted blankets as well. One's a colourful one and one is a plain one. Which we love. And then also, I ordered from Isla and Fraser. You can see the business name on there. Um, this is how they came packaged yesterday. So cute. Um, and again, these are blankets. So we ordered this cable knit one and this grey chevron one and they're just so lovely just so soft they're cellular because they tell you to buy the ones with like holes in essentially so that they're breathable um and we wanted to go for more of a neutral color because the nursery is going to be quite colorful um we wanted to be able to have things that were toned down so that it didn't feel like everything was like everything was going on and if we weren't certain on a colour palette or anything that things weren't just going like crazy i mean it's all going to be going on um but i'm really excited to show you all these bits have got a few other bits in there but nothing major i don't think is that another oh this is another knitted jumper as well little knitted cardi they're so cute <laughs> so cute uh, I've got a couple of pa packs of bibs as well because if there's anything like we are he's going to be messy so yeah that is everything I have so far for Pippin I hope you enjoyed watching that remember everything if I can find the links because I've had some of this stuff for quite a while I will try and find similar if not in the description box below let me know which piece was your favourite um let me know if there's anything that you think that I'm missing. Well, obviously, I've got time. I Let me know if you think there's anything that's missing that I should be getting um, to have for him. Obviously, these are just the bits that I have at the moment. And we've decided to kind of have a little rest from buying clothes for him because we didn't want to get overwhelmed. And this box that I've been keeping everything in is overflowing now. So soon and very soon hopefully the nursery's going to be done there's going to be wardrobes and drawers in there so i'll be able to put some of this stuff away and then i'll be able to buy more to mark's delight he loves it to be fair and especially now we found out it's a boy we can start looking at like more boyish things or the floor kind of opens up then as well as the other things we can look at um not that it really matters but again it's my concern was that it's april that he's due and what's the weather like in april it could literally be snowing or it could be 30 degrees i don't know so i don't want to commit to buying too much winter stuff 
if it's going to be really hot and then in the spring hopefully there'll still be summer stuff out that we can well there definitely will be and in the in the spring there'll still be sort of like winter stuff as well if we need to buy any long sleeve stuff or long leg stuff but yeah these are so cute i really hope you enjoyed watching let me know what you think in the comments leave a like make sure you are subscribed make sure you follow me on instagram and i will see you on the next one